Madras High Court Madurai Bench has garnered quite a lot of praise for its work when it came to exposing alleged custodial death of Jairaj and Benix from Satan Kulak. In fact, after its interference only, CBCID took the case and currently four police officers who were suspended have been arrested. As you might remember, on 22nd of June, Benix died after he's been sent to prison and around 9.45pm uh, and his father Jairaj died the very next day that is on 23rd June. Then post that almost for five days there was no development when it came to filing an FIR but however on 24th after major public outcry two police officers were transferred and even after that the public protested during lockdown period and without any other go the collector suspended two sub-inspectors from Satangolam police station. Amidst all this Madras High Court took so much cognizance of it and as it began an investigation it instructed the Kovil Party magistrate to go over to Satang Kulam and conduct a judicial uh, inquiry even as another magistrate from Tutukuri was doing so. In between this, when a lot of questions was put forward to the Chief Minister as to why no FIR with murder charges was filed, the Chief Minister immediately gave an, an, an information that the case will be transferred to the CBI. And yes, in between all this, one police officer misbehaved with the judicial magistrate which turned into a contempt of the court and from there on everything changed. Madras High Court on Wednesday, the Madhuri bench instructed CBCID claiming that there is prima facie evidence that uh, murder charges can be filed against the police officers from Satangulam in the death of uh, Jairaj and Benix and it immediately instructed CBCID from Tinal Valley to begin an investigation as the Madras High Court said that for the CBI it has to collect, I mean take a lot of permission and then they have to initiate an investigation and during this lockdown period nobody even knows if they have the adequate hands on ground to conduct an investigation. It's unfortunate that the Chief Minister of the State was not aware of all these points. And within 24 hours, the CBCID collected information. It sent various teams, almost 10 to 12 teams, on the ground to various locations, starting from Satangolam Police Station to Jairaj's residence to Benix's cell phone shops, and information was collected. And just within hours, the first arrest was made on the case, and that was Sub-Inspector Raghu Ganesh under Section 302 murder charges. By evening, yesterday the uh, CBCID's IG Shankar came forward and said that four people have been named in the FIR into which changes have been made including murder, char murder charges were included and now four officers altogether have been arrested. The inspector of Satang Kulam police station who is suspended currently, Sridhar, two SIs who have been suspended as well, Bal Bala Subramaniam, Ra Raghu Ganesh and one head constable from Satang Kulam police station who also is suspended and that is Murugan. With this, the case has definitely turned into a taken a different turn right now and many questions are also being put forward whether should the case still be transferred to CBI in such a manner that even CBCID were able to make arrests within 24 hours but only the Chief Minister can provide an answer to it. With camera person Vijay Shekhar, Ramal Madhav, for Miranda.